Supra versus Subgingival Calculus What every dental student must know Today we are diving into the key differences between supragingival and subgingival calculus and by the end of this video you will not only identify them clinically but also treat them with confidence Dental calculus is of two types supragingival and subgingival The supragingival lies coronal to the gingival margin whereas the subgingival calculus lies apical to the gingival margin Supra and subgingival calculus can be differentiated based on different categories the location the visibility the color consistency distribution source plaque composition and other contents present in these type of calculus so let's dive into each one of them depending on location supra gingival calculus is calcified deposit that is located coronal to the gingival margin whereas subgingival calculus is a calcified deposit located below the crest of the gingival margin in terms of visibility the supra gingival calculus is visible in the oral cavity whereas the subgingival calculus is not visible on routine clinical examination it is identified by use of tactile perception using an explorer coming to the color the supra gingival calculus is white or whitish yellow in color and is influenced by the contact with substances such as tobacco and food pigments subgingival calculus appears dark brown or greenish black in color and it is influenced by the subgingival environment in terms of consistency the supra gingival calculus is hard with a clay like consistency and it is easily detached from the tooth surface Subgingival calculus however is hard and dense and has a flint like consistency it is firmly attached to the tooth surface in terms of distribution supra gingival calculus is located on the buccal surface of maxillary molars and lingual surface of mandibular anterior teeth whereas subgingival calculus is more commonly detected on proximal surfaces of various teeth it is important to note that saliva from the parotid gland flows over the facial surfaces of the upper molars via the parotid duct whereas the submandibular duct and the sublingual duct empty onto the lingual surfaces of the lower incisors from the submandibular and sublingual glands respectively so the source of gingiva for supra gingival calculus is saliva and hence it is also called as salivary calculus The source of mineralization for subgingival calculus is the gingival clavicular fluid and the inflammatory exudate present in the subgingival area. So it is also known as ceruminal calculus. The plaque composition around the supra gingival calculus is composed of filamentous organisms and it is oriented perpendicular to the underlying calcified deposits. For the subgingival calculus The overlying plaque is composed of cocci, rods and filaments and there is no distinct pattern of arrangements of these bacteria. Composition wise supra gingival calculus has more brucite and octa calcium phosphate crystals whereas in sub gingival calculus there is less brucite but more of magnesium vitlokite. Other contents present in supra gingival calculus are sodium content is less compared to sodium content in the subgingival calculus which is more the salivary proteins are present in the supra gingival calculus whereas they are absent in case of subgingival calculus you can find the link to mcqs for this topic in the description of the video thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe to the channel and leave a feedback or comment on this video thank you